Okay. Yes. okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, this is like a trial run, and uh, you're our first guest, I guess, yeah. or we are yours. We're your guests. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, uh, shall we do the introduction, or do you want to introduce yourself? I think that's perhaps the easiest way, right? Because you have such a <laughs> big uh, background. No, no, no problem, no problem. So uh, I'll just start off. Um, I'm, I'm Andy Lien. Um, I'm, I'm located in Singapore. Uh, before the COVID, you know, uh, most of the time uh, I am on the plane and spending a lot of my time um, giving advice to uh, government. Um, and most of the time I'll be in uh, uh, Korea, Japan, Thailand, and so forth and so on. So apart from that, I'm also a uh, uh, an investor into uh, the crypto market and I've met a lot of uh, uh, good projects and a, a lot of good initiatives in, in, the, in, in the world right now and uh, just um, last month in March I am currently the uh, CEO and chairman for Asia for the Descent group uh, that, yeah. that is based in the world you know so a very quick introduction about myself man yeah can we do an intro introduction as well? Yeah, that's probably best. Yeah. For viewers and for you, if you're viewers maybe. You want to do it? Uh, yeah, I'm Jan. Um, I'm Nick. <laughs> I'm Nick. Um, I'm a supermarket manager in real life, uh, but I have an, uh, uh, a lot of uh, passion for crypto and blockchain. Uh, especially, the. Um, I think there's going to be a tran transition of wealth. And we have to have new models to uh, make a new sort of cash, uh, but also a new sort of financial um, uh, system. And I think blockchain and crypto can help uh, in, in that part. And so the people who um, uh, invest in it now, uh, uh, they have a, a possibility um, to uh, transfer a little bit of wealth into more wealth. So if you're in Africa, or Europe, or Asia, or America, you can be part of the system uh, from the start. Um, so that's very interesting. It's a new era. Uh, that's what what, what uh, my passion about crypto and blockchain is. And then we started um, Bitcoin Live two years ago, really small, uh, and we had that vision and we want to uh, bring it to the people all over the world. Um, and we're starting to grow uh, more and more on different platforms. Uh, uh, well, and uh, we, we want to expand our vision and meet people in the blockchain uh, world. And that's possible because it's really a new community and a very open community. So, um, well, that's a little bit uh, introduction about myself. I think we also have like a sound issue. I hear some echo. Uh, is it from us or is it from yours? R really? Yeah. You, you you hold on. Let, let me let me let me test. Mm, that's strange. Uh, you hold on. Yeah. That kind of. Sorry. No, I don't need to sit in the chair. I'm not that. Yeah, I'll let my name out on the flex. I'm all right. Let's go to the half hour. I think I'll I think I'll use um I'll use um a earpiece maybe. Yeah, yeah, it could also be on our side, but can is that echo right now then? Yeah. No, I think the echo is now gone, gone right? So yeah. when you were talking, hmm, weird. So I'll I'll continue the introduction of my myself then. Uh, I'm Nick. Uh, I'm also uh, working at the uh, groceries, uh, at the supermarket. Um, my background is uh, I studied philosophy and also some called cultural anthropology. Uh, I like to learn a lot. And uh, yeah, when the financial crisis of 2008, 2007 happened, I started learning about economy a lot. Uh, and then I we came across crypto, cryptocurrencies. Yeah, two years later. And that really fit into uh, the whole, uh, the big picture. So uh, we continued on that road and then we started investing, learning more. And yeah, at a certain moment we said, let's start Bitcoin Lives, let's start this platform, let's uh, start let's adoption. Do something. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, that's how we rolled into this. So. Yeah. So um, 
and um, we have gone through the ICO stage. We have uh, gone through all the way, you know, into some of the the worst dips in in Bitcoin, and all the way to two zero two zero, and and the company is still alive and doing well. Um, how how does that work? You know, m- most of the time, if you look at a lot of different crypto projects, they are very much focused on the cryptocurrency aspects of things. You know, yeah. so they talk about how the price went up and then how the price went down and then it never came up again and so forth and so on, right? So for Descent, um, the, the, the core difference is that they focus on the business right at the start. So when when I met uh, the, the founder, uh, Mate, he, he, he told me about his vision and then I, I, I shared with him about my vision. And uh, of course, I, I post quite a fair bit on Twitter about how I felt about some companies and so forth. So yeah. when Descent came up, um, I look at their, their solutions. They are all ready. So they have things like a, like a digital proof. Mm-hmm. They have a very um, uh, mature uh, supply chain tracking systems as well. Is it a bit and like of course, have, Sorry? Can you compare it to I would say very, very much uh, similar. Yeah. But because VeChain focus uh, mainly in the supply chain uh, uh, aspects, but for Descent, because we are a uh, mainnet, so we look at not only at the supply chain aspects of things, but if you go into the the whole realm of um, what Descent is doing, we have like a hum- humanity token. You know, yeah. we have uh, things like uh, Alex. So yeah. all these different aspects of... Uh, of things made made up of this whole uh, descent enterprise solution that is uh, keeping uh, descent alive, and of course moving forward, you know you would see a lot more uh, things happening uh, in in descent in Asia and also a fair bit of uh, uh, related uh, activities linked to to the tokens because you know they have not done too much on the tokens aspect of things. Uh, so two zero two zero onwards, you know, uh, there will be a a, a, a dedicated um, focus towards the uh, tokenization and the tokens model that that they want to bring it to their enterprise solutions, yeah. uh, enterprise clients, and so forth and so on. So still very much growing, uh, a lot of uh, prospects. Sounds yes, really yes, yes, yeah. yeah, yes, it's a lot of things. And um, so it's more uh, for you about the use case of blockchain uh, than uh, pure the price of a token, if I understand you. Um, I think I think um, maybe maybe I put put it in a different perspective. Um, use cases were actually being uh, dished out in the two zero one eight two zero one nine times. You know, yeah. so for Tencent, uh, the use cases are very strong. Um, it is is not so much about use cases right now. Is to expand, so okay. expanding themselves out from uh, Europe to uh, possibly uh, US and of course in in Asia and so forth. That would bring the story a lot stronger because if you look at it this way, um, um, you already have a, a a platform that is proven uh, used by uh, clients, yeah. and that same proven platform actually can be replicated into different uh, countries, different uh, industry verticals and so forth. So what Descent is trying to do right now is to move further, further away uh, from where they are. Yeah. You know, right now they are in the comfortable stage where they are, uh, they are, they are growth, you know, they are existing clients, yeah. but look at it longer, you know, in the, in the, in the three to six years uh, uh, time frame, you know, they are looking at, getting a bigger market share yeah. uh, of things that they are trying to do. You know, we, we are also very active in China, yeah. uh, in uh, Vietnam, you know, uh, Singapore, uh, so forth and so on. Um, so we, we do see the traction coming uh, a lot faster, you know, especially when there's this uh, COVID-19 right now. Yeah. Um, many of the solutions that uh, we provide um, are, are fairly, fairly much online, you know, or, or yeah. is, is digital, right? So, it's easier to talk to more people about solutions that are ready than comparing this to a lot of other 
uh, blockchain companies in the market right now that are to um, expand in Europe as well and you need uh, people to tell the story of descent uh, yeah. what the use case is and uh, what you do and where you want to go um, and um, yeah, expand your network as much as possible and uh, we could of course help, help with you. that yeah, yeah we would love to help you with that yeah no, Tell the story. Not, not a not an issue at all. We we need we need good people. We need good yeah. people, whether whether they are from the community, um, or whether they are from the business part uh, of things. You, you if you look at it this way, you know, whenever we talk about crypto community, you know, yeah. what what is the first yeah. thing that came to your mind? What is the first thing that came to your mind when we talk about crypto communities? Uh, it's global, <laughs> yeah, international, um, and it's, it's a okay. lot of people who think out of the box. Yeah. So um, it's it's a really um, a community that looks to the future and not to the past because okay. the past has has been and we have to tra make a transition to a new future. And I think that the the blockchain community uh, would love to go to the next level. Yeah. True. Yeah, but it's True. still very. This much is business. Cool. Yeah. This Focus is a good view people. from a. This is a good view from a, from an overall aspect. You know, when you look at the community as a whole, I, I think I think that's a that's a very good point. But if you look at uh, from a company aspect, you know, whenever you you see them uh, creating uh, their own Telegram group, example, you will see a lot of airdrops uh, and, and so forth. Uh, those those are typically how uh, cryptocurrency companies and blockchain companies see uh, how a community is, is like you know so when 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 you give up something for free you know people will just come come on board and then yeah. and and then and then they, 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 they shout about the project but if you look at it this way the, the there's no real monetary value uh, in, in long run you know in, in the short run of course you create a certain bus see yeah. you can look at how uh, ethereum uh, or, or how Tron is doing it well there, there are a lot of people shouting about the project you know uh, yeah. more, more of Tron you know not so much of uh, 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 Ethereum, but but what do you get out from this, right? So yeah. my my aspect uh, uh, or my view from for for community is slightly different, and and I, I would also do the same uh, with descent. Uh, so what we see is building businesses. Yeah, you want to add right. value. Correct. You are right. Yeah, yeah, you are right. Yeah. So when when we look at building the value and building the businesses in it, the community leaders. Are actually the one putting us through to the right partners you yeah. know not so much of uh, putting up a hundred dollar airdrop and so forth that that's that's never the case right so we hope that once we roll out our community projects yeah. or, or our community initiative is going to drive the business uh, instead of just driving traffic yeah. so so that that is that is how I felt but of course you know just don't get me wrong I think driving traffic is still a must yeah. all right but the main core thing from driving the traffic is to drive the value and drive the business. Yeah. Not, you know, not not the other way around. Yeah. yeah. No, no, I understand because if you um, just create buzz, um, it will collapse in a while. Yeah. So you have to have long a long term value uh, that has to grow. Engagement. Uh, engagement. Yeah. But and people want have to use your product yeah. each day or. Uh, uh, or businesses need your solution um, uh, to make it grow in the long run. Otherwise, it will yeah. die out just like an, a lot of cryptos will. I think so too, yeah. 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 And Tron is the best example for a project that creates a lot of buzz and then it dies down and it, it does it again and it does it again and it keeps doing it. But the value of the Tron is new, now ex exponentially lower than a year ago. Yeah, another example would be Ethereum is the opposite, yeah. which is really uh, as a very much engaged uh, community, which is constantly building and it's trying building new applications, which are actually being used. Uh, yeah, so like the DeFi. Uh, yeah, yeah and they're not yeah. even making that much buzz. It's just no. humming along, growing. They're yeah, building. I, I, I agree with uh, your, your both your take. Um, the, the reason why I pointed out uh, Ethereum and, uh, of course, Tron is um, I, I think you have to see a balance, you know. 
So from the two different uh, uh, projects, of course, they are all big on their own. Um, e e Ethereum is very much, uh, very, very much into the cutting uh, aspects of things, you know. So yeah. if the both of them could, you know, could integrate, uh, yeah. the integrate or collaborate, correct, and that would be the best case, you know. But of course, that this is not going to happen. I just hope that they, they can coexist. Yeah. You know, and yeah. um, and that, that is a, 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 a big plus point, you know, for for the whole industry. Yeah, well, yeah. what Andreas Antonopoulos often says is you let, let uh, like a thousand flowers bloom and uh, you get like a whole ecosystem of uh, different, uh, uh, yeah, cryptos and some make it and some don't. But he True. says it, yeah, it won't be just Bitcoin. It will be many different uh projects that uh, yeah that will make it and they'll focus on their own little niche and they'll uh True. Yeah. Like chain link for example yeah true but yeah that's also how we see it but of course you have to there's a lot of competition out there so you have to make your brand that's what tron does best of course justin sun is really good at making yeah branding yeah i guess uh, but then he's not so good at uh <laughs> at, <laughs> at rest <laughs> from, from us, yeah <laughs> Yeah, keeping yeah. his promises for yeah. one thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, many many projects actually, um, you know, they 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 try their best to uh, do what they can, but the bigger market forces, uh, uh, you know, is is going to recreate their vision, you know, because yeah, you know, Tron or, or any other projects, you know, we will not know that yeah. you know COVID is going to be that big, right? So. So right now at this current moment, I, I dare say that almost ninety percent of the of the projects are, are, are dead. You know, yeah. you don't you don't really see them too much during this period of time. Uh, most of them are, are are shut down. You know, yeah. and then some try to survive with the minimum uh, uh, staff, uh, and I think that is still good because you are trying to keep your brand alive. Yeah. Um, while 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 the other hand. You know there are a lot of other uh, more more scam like projects that are also popping yeah. up during yeah. this uh, COVID, COVID period, and this is going to be very um, this is going to be really bad for the for the industry because um, those are the bad eggs that yeah. that is you, you uh, trying to out. Get, yeah. correct trying to get the money, but some of these uh, bad eggs, you know, they 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 disguise themselves and modify themselves. Uh, to look really good, you know. I mean, they are not really good, but you, you can see that they are trying their, their very best, and they are still investors yeah. or, 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 or retail investors yeah. putting their money into into them. Yeah, and yeah, I they just use find that words like five G, AI, uh, etc., right. uh, yeah. quantum, you know, or or, yeah. or or you know, or they disguise themselves in in some of the chains, you know, that that we all know about, and 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 the biggest issue for all this. Uh, companies is that they do not have any underlying value no. you know so to me there's always two kinds of value one kind of value would be more from the technical aspects yeah you know you are like an ethereum you know you there's there's no way you can say that oh ethereum is bullshit right no. you know ethereum has done a lot of uh, good work in 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 the blockchain uh, uh space yeah. you yeah. know um or by telling like you know and, and, yes yeah. yes you're right and 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 the founders and the founding team, you know, uh, they are all very vocal about the technology that they have done, you know. So I think that is one kind of a good value, right? Then yeah. the other kind of good value is that you do the correct amount of uh, marketing to push your brand up, right? Yeah. So with that two combined together, that is considered a good, a, a good project, right? Yeah. But if you look at the current uh, trend right now is that uh, most of the projects out there, they do not have technology or they are using a technology that is uh that is ridiculously available open source you know yeah. and then they are they are not spending too much on marketing you know they just get a few uh kol you know uh thing that they are like oh they can influence uh, quite a bit of people on twitter they'll yeah. just bring them in as advisor promote him as an advisor and then and then start to promote the project but if you look at it this way they have no technology you know why because some of these pro products that they came out with, one is there's no need to have a blockchain. Yeah. 
No. There's no need to have blockchain at all, right? That's, so why do you need to raise money using that, right? Then, then the second issue is that even if there's a need to use blockchain, you know, uh, their MVP would have already been done, you know, uh, uh, brands, you know, they, they, they come out with a, um, uh, like a travel, travel booking, uh, using crypto, yeah, yeah. right? Like Come on, man. No, I, I don't want to name that, man, but or whoever, <laughs> but when you look at it this way, um, why is there a need to do a, a, a good MVP where the MVP is already available, you know, yeah. on, on the open source market? You know, all you need to do is the integration of the app and, and whichever blockchain you're going to choose, right? Yeah. And then how would this raise money, right? Or yeah. some other guys, they, they came up with uh, like, a, like a tracking device, you know, like a, like a, like a, like a Fitbit, you know, health app. You yeah, know, yeah. you wear the, the app, you, you you do your activities and you, you get tokens. Come on. We have seen so many of this. And all these projects, technically, there's no need to raise too much money. You know why? All, all this so-called technology are already available yeah. off the shelf, open source, and yeah. they look really nice, right? Yeah. And if you don't, if whatever amount of money you have collected back and you are not focusing on the marketing aspects of things, then where is the money going? Yeah, you know? yeah. So, so I think we have to start to talk to uh, the right kind of uh, people and the right kind of um, 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 social groups, you know, to yeah. understand more on how a lot of these projects are are, are trying to do things. You know, we, yeah. we have to be yeah. we have to be educators or, or, or keeping the awareness up like for a lot quality of quality uh, control. Yeah, quality check. So yes, yes, yes. Are the best. Right. You got to, you got to do a review, right, of the yeah. of the whole project. If you think that this this project is not going to work, right, mm -hmm. you you go through your your team of uh, of experts. You know, five six of of of, of yeah. them. You go through the whole process. You find that hey, this thing doesn't make sense. Then it doesn't make sense because yeah. if you if you see that it's bullshit, it smells like bullshit. You know, it's bullshit, man. Yeah, you you get what I mean. So. Yeah. Yeah, well, there's also correct. a problem with us, you know, we're just two guys and we don't have a technical background. So a lot of stuff we have to try yeah. out, learn a lot. So it's and, and we invested, I think, maybe a few thousand hours of reading and uh, looking at projects. And in the beginning, we invested in a, a lot of <laughs> crappy projects because we like the logo. Uh, For and, example. Well, let's go. <laughs> And then we bought a few tokens and lost yeah. a lot of, for a lot, but we lost some money because we didn't, we didn't make any. <laughs> yeah. uh, because we yeah. didn't um, uh, look farther, further. And, um, yeah. So in the, <laughs> in the first uh, year, I, uh, year, year or so, we just lost money because we invested in, uh, in crappy projects. Yeah, or, or did the wrong, uh, you, you slide down the hill yeah. uh, to, to zero. Yeah, <laughs> back full of uh, shit coins, uh, but what they say. It's, it's not that bad because yeah. we didn't uh, invest that, mu that much money in the beginning. Yeah. And um, it learned us that you have to do a good back background check. And even yeah. when you do it, it's still difficult because of the things you told us. Um, sometimes it looks really great, even if you look a little bit further, but if it doesn't have use, a, a new use case or it uh, expands a use case that needs blockchain, um, then it will still die off. Yeah, but I think also in, in the in the whole um, scene, uh, one of the things that's yeah, holding back adoption is of course the technical issues. A lot of people aren't programmers, they aren't, they don't have a technical background, so they're completely uh, dependent on, on the information, on the information, on, on the yeah, if the information they get is correct or not. So how, how do you have? To, how do you know which projects are really good or aren't good mm. if you don't have a background? Um, I, I think I think there's there's no way you could you could really know whether the project is good or not. I, I let, let me put this down in a few points that you have mentioned just now. One point number one is that whether or not the the company itself has any new advancements. Yeah. Um, well, 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 this is not exactly the most important thing. Um, advancements in technology is going to take time, right? So if you look at uh, supply chain, you know, you look at V-Chain, um, they, they are in the, the supply chain uh, uh, industry. Uh, are there any new, new technology advancements? No, you don't really see that, yeah? yeah. Um, they, 
they have uh, you know good master node and so forth programs that that, that runs uh, fairly well. Uh, I, I do I, I do notice that uh, from VeChain. But do they have any new uh, better products that's in the market? My supply chain market very strongly. Yeah. And that's, that, that, that's why they are they are still there. They made and good the money. The other kind of the other kind of pro, uh, uh, project, you know, taking Descent as an example, you know, they look very much quiet. But if you if you look at the background deeper, you know, yeah. they have actually done a lot of things uh, before the ICO, after the ICO, and during this whole period of uh, downtime, yeah. uh, Descent is still running. Yeah. But but are they are they uh, running in the most effective manner? May, maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. I, I can't I can't speak for for the whole group. You know, uh, from from that aspect. But yeah. if you look at it for longevity sake, sake mm -hmm. you know, they could last a longer roadmap because mm -hmm. they took a longer time to make sure that they have the right businesses to back yeah. their product up, and from there. People can see that hey, okay, so so descent have done A B C projects, yeah, you know, yeah. and have not created much, have not created much hype, but no. they have uh, uh, the books, they have the revenue, they have the profit. But if you look at it from the other end, you see, like what Tron is doing, Tron has very good marketing. They give yeah. birth to things like, uh, I think the latest one was like uh, uh, adjust or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, you know, uh, the you the founder's name. Something. Yes, 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 yes. So, and yeah. so, so for 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 them, they came out with this. They bought over things like Steam it, yeah, uh, and then and then the, some other collaborations down the road. Yeah. But you, what you see is that they put up the hype, big time hype first. Yeah. Then they do the the buying uh, M and A of some companies, you know, yeah. and creating their own. Yeah. Then trying to create the ecosystem. But if you look at Descent, it is very different. They raised the money. They kept quiet. For, for 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 good reasons, mm -hmm. they develop and they form a couple of pillar that is using the descent core uh, yeah. technology, and then they try to push it out in two zero two zero. So That's it's a very different effort because they the already have the around. clients. Yeah. Correct. They really have the clients. Uh, yeah, you are right. So they have the clients. While uh, uh, Justin, in another hand, they are doing a fantastic job. To get the the, the marketing up, yeah. uh, but again, it's a two different ways of looking at projects. That reminds so, me a little bit of Chainlink because Chainlink was quiet a long, long time, building, building, yes. building, making connections, networking, and then suddenly they exploded on the market, and their branding from that moment on was perfect. But they did a lot yes. of work beforehand, working on those pillars, like you said, and they were very yes. quiet until they exploded on the scene. Uh, I, I agree. I agree with you. Then the other point that I want to share is that you know, in in our conversation, you talk about the kind of uh, uh you know you you lost money buying some of these uh, L coins, you know, or shit coin, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, you know, you know the, the 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 funny part about this is that, you know, there are retail investors, you know, uh, professional investors, uh, institutional investors, yeah. uh, they all have different investment. Uh, portfolio and, and and risk that they want to want to take right so so in general uh, you know uh, uh, almost everyone you see on on telegram groups and so forth they are all retail investors you know they yeah, buy yeah. small amount yeah you know and they try to they try to speculate you know yeah, yeah. they try to speculate so so you know it, it, sometimes it doesn't go very well you know no. so some of them some of them with small amount of money they actually put themselves uh, uh, in, in, into very big risks. Yeah, I'll give you an example. True. Let's say that, that one guy has a thousand dollars. A thousand yeah. dollars maybe is a big, big money, right? Well, a hundred dollars maybe. A hundred dollars, all right. A hundred dollars. So they 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 would they would I I would typically see this. You know, would you put fifty hundred dollars into Bitcoin, or you put hundred dollars into some altcoins, <laughs> right? So there's a, there's a lot of thinking about about this, right? In terms yeah. of uh, investments. You and I, we are not investment advisors or, 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 no, or no. guru, you know, but, <laughs> you know, but, but if you look at it this way, you know, if you are going to keep something for long run, you know, yeah. some people think that let's just buy Bitcoin. But then the other question is then buy at what price, right? Yeah, so this yeah. thing keeps going circle and circles, you know, and, and at the end, yeah. they might buy at a very bad price and exit too early because 
they, yeah. they can't wait for the, for the Bitcoin to grow, right? Yeah. Or some of the other guys who do is that they just buy blindly onto the L coins and they, yeah. they try to hold it for long run, you know, long yeah. term, you know. Yeah. They hope that there will be there will be another I, uh, I, 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 a fairy tales. Very yeah. much fairy tales. You know, it's, so, uh, it's important yeah, so, to so, see sorry. the difference. Yeah. Correct. So you have to balance that out, you know, um, yeah. whether whether you buy some Bitcoin or you have to buy an L coin that you really sort of know it better than than, than buying yeah. buying it blind, you know, because there are a lot of communities out there that have earned big money from uh, buying L coins. Some of them have lost huge money by buying all this uh, shit coin as well. <laughs> you know, when it's good, it's L coin. When it's bad, it's shit coin. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. so, so you got to find a good balance. You know, you cannot take what the community leaders are telling you. Say, hey, buy X Y Z yeah. right now. No. You know, uh, I'm not sure if there's an X Y Z, but you know, example X Y Z right now, yeah. and it's going up for a hundred folds. You know, yeah. all these things, in my humble opinion, are illegal because there's no yeah. way one you talk about the pricing, two you cannot guarantee any form of pricing. Yeah. You know, so all these things are illegal. So if you look at this from a more governance standpoint, in the next uh, year or so, I think things will change. You know. I, I've seen a lot of projects, you know, whether it's on a, on, on a network A or, or protocol B or, or, or mainnet C, you know, they are all trying to tell people that their price is going up. And a lot of these advertisements are illegal. You know? I so I hope we see, see how, a difference, you know. How do you see, like, uh, the impact of the halving? Uh, because uh, while we we are yeah, believers in plan B. And so we actually expect price eventually uh, this year somewhere to really start rising. But um, uh, personally, I like the philosophy, uh, if the Bitcoin price really starts to rise significantly, then a lot of that money from Bitcoin um, will, will, flow into other you know, will also flow back into the altcoin the projects. Uh, well, this, this is something that... Uh, Okay, so 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 two things, yeah. First thing is, uh, if Bitcoin goes up, uh, more money will flow to the L coins. Is yeah. this true? Um, I don't think it's hundred percent true, you know, because it it really depends on who is ho who are the big wheels that that is holding on to the yeah. the Bitcoin, you know, and what they want to do. Uh, there might be a small portion of the smaller investors who think that they are some guru. They got good money from Bitcoin. They will invest in some shit coin. You know, but but I don't think that is how the true value of blockchain or cryptocurrency should be like. No. You have to be backed by uh, a certain good value, mm -hmm. some good beliefs, yeah, uh, and and, and a, a good business model. If there's no good business model behind it, whatever staking that you are doing, these are bullshit. You know, they stake it there, the and the miners are paying uh, are, are being paid peanuts. And they give you a 40% return from your staking. Do you believe in this kind of a good deal? Well, you know, let, let's again not, not name who and, 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 and what. <laughs> but if you look at it this way, you know, a lot of things you, you can't really believe in, in it from a face value. Then you talk about the halving, you know. You know, some people will ask, uh, you know, oh, is it going up or is it going down? For Bitcoin, it's always going up and it's yeah. always going down. So, <laughs> that, so it's just it's just a matter of 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 uh, what kind of price uh, you are looking at. Some people was you know they, they were thinking of uh, you know buying them at three thousand mm. dollars, right? But I always tell my my staff you know who are you know I have a group of analysts as well. So I always tell them you know so put it hypothetically it drops to three thousand. Yum, how many are you going to buy for Bitcoin? <laughs> uh, how many Bitcoin are you going to buy? Example, I will just example. Buy one Bitcoin. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if, if it drops to three thousand, how many will you buy? How many more as will you buy? As many as I can. <laughs> you you put it this way, you know. You see, as as many as you can, it it, it depends on is whether it's a hundred thousand yeah. or is a one thousand or is yeah. a five thousand, right? Because yeah, that three thousand period is a very short time frame. Yeah. So at that Time frame. If you only have uh, thirty thousand dollars, you can only buy ten. Yeah. You know, and then how long can you hold this? You know, not everybody has a yeah, deep pockets, right? True. You know, so if every coin you earn a thousand dollars, 
Yeah. That is just $10,000. Are you happy with $10,000? You no. know, if you are happy with $10,000, <laughs> then it's no. okay. You get what I mean? But most people, most people, they are not happy with $10,000. No. So when they start to hold, that is where the opportunity cost uh, kicks in. Yeah. And then more Bitcoin. Yeah. So so I think whether it's going to half or not going to half, it doesn't matter to, to, to most people. Yeah. You know, yeah. the only thing that matters is that Come on, man! Please do not drop it to to less than three thousand dollars because that will break a lot of beliefs, you know, yeah, behind it. You know? yeah. So yeah. that is the only thing that we 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 keep things going, right? So, yeah. so, so that's how I see that about about having, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah. There's well, we could yeah. probably fill the whole uh, show about it. <laughs> so let's go to another uh, topic. Yeah. Uh, well, we're of course uh, like community builders. Yeah. And um, Jan is really good at uh, promotion and I'm, I'm the Justin son of the two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm more into the. I like the content uh, piece. He's more like the in, um, uh, like the writer and the in-depth uh, researcher. I look uh, more at the project uh, projects. Um, okay, what do, do they bring? How do they look? And how do they? Um, uh, sell it. Yeah, you do also a lot of research uh, into the projects themselves. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I like the macro picture uh, yeah. more. Uh, how everything um, okay, that's good. nice. That's nice. With one thousand dollars, I could, I, with my resources, I could make the project look very nice. But, <laughs> but you know, but but the thing is uh, that there's no underlying value behind a yeah. lot of that. You know. Yeah, yeah. but I also yeah. look at that uh, piece because um, yeah, we talked a little bit about VJ. Um, I've been following them for a long time and Chainlink as well. Um, uh, I all, and and uh, XRP, you talked about XRP. Uh, I've been following them for about four or five years now. And you can see some projects keep um, at what they think uh, uh, their business model is uh, must be like. So um, uh, saying that, um, I also look at if, if a project uh, is centralized or decentralized. And in some uh, projects, it's better if it's more centralized. In other projects, it's better if it's uh, decentralized. It creates value because people trust Bitcoin because it's decentralized in a, in a so, so, sort of way. Um, but if you look at VeChain, I think it's more centralized, but you need it to be fast and uh, you need it to sell the project because people want uh, who are in, um, how do you say it? Um, but but also like uh, to take an because Bitcoin is really decentralized. Yeah. But uh, VeChain, you could say on a later time point they'll distribute. Yeah, the they, they will. But then, in, in first hand, they have to uh, be centralized because uh, they have to uh, uh, communicate with uh, large partners. They they are not really interested in the retail inv yeah, investor. They're they still want, making momentum. Uh, they want a, a big uh, change to adopt their uh, uh, project. Uh, so they, they don't need uh, us to uh, spend uh, two or three hundred dollars or a thousand dollars. That's peanuts. They yeah. need hundred thousands or millions. Or yeah, that's like with Brett Garlinghouse, uh, yeah. you could make a case for XRP that he's still building. He uh, wants to work with uh, yeah. institutions instead yeah. of uh, uh, doing something new. Yeah. And I think it's, it's a smart way to move. Uh, for his project to uh, for their project to do it like that um, but these are our opinions I, i'm, I'm not course. sure if you i <laughs> I, I follow the, the all, all the projects that you talk about uh, yeah. fairly closely uh, from yeah. vchain to xrp um i think i think um you know it's not is 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 again a, a, a balance you know yeah. um uh chain you know do they need any form of uh, retail investors, I think. I think my answer is is yes. Instead of no, no. They do. Uh, why why do they need them? Because if you look at V Chain, you know, as a as as a group, you know, in order for for an enterprise to buy into their solution and their token, mm -hmm. they have to first pay them, adopt them, and then what's going to happen? you need the users, the retail users to use them, right? So the retail users may be scanning their product and say, well, this is a real product, right? Yeah. 
mm-hmm. you know, or they could use their their chipset and so forth to to authenticate their fashion wear and so forth. Um, is there is there retail investors? Those people who pick up the label and scan them, these are retail investors. Yeah. They are doing the first scan. And yeah. after the feed in retail investors, if there's no retail investors, it will be gone, you know. Yeah. So I think they need it that way. But if you're looking at your anger, which is whether or not they will buy the coins or not, you know, uh, upright, straightforward. Um, for projects, any amount coming in would be good money, right? So I don't think XRP is going to reject a thousand dollars because it's, it's, it's not a big amount, right? Yeah. But but that thousand dollars may then spin off to another hundred thousand yeah. uh, dollars, one million dollars, because of the community that they built uh, on the ground. So you just imagine, you know, XRP. They start the remittance uh, or, or the, the the we just say remittance, uh, yeah, remittance order. You know, they do it in Philippines. They do it in Dubai. Yeah. You know, Mexico. these are all big markets, yeah. massive markets, or they go to Hong Kong. Yeah. Uh, or even Singapore, you know, these are all massive markets with a lot of uh, outflow uh, for for uh, you know foreign outflow. So they need those guys, you know, they need the retail investors or the the retail guys to run their business. If they do not have that pool of guys, and they can just partner with MoneyGram, uh, yeah. Bank A, Bank B, Bank C, is not going to work. You know, you, you the, the, the 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 saddest part is. If they depend on the bank A, bank B, and bank C to do the work for them, then I think the project would would, would be gone uh, faster than than we we we, yeah. we think it would, because the banks will not help you to push this, right? The, because there's a conflict of interest in terms yeah, of true. how the bank looks at it and how XRP looks at it. Of course, you know, maybe on the white paper they will say that well, you know, it's good to work hand in hand, but yeah. at the real world. Is just how big the pie is, you know. Yeah. Will the bank let XRP take up a bigger pie? So there's a lot of questions, you know. I'm not criticizing yeah. XRP. I think it's a fabulous uh, project uh, yeah. to date. Yeah. They've done a lot of good charity work uh, uh, in yeah, US exactly. and so forth. Um, but again, you know, coming back to the aspect of uh, uh, what what a community is is going to be like, I would use the the, the example that I've said for Descent is that we build business values instead of building just airdrops, you know, yep, because yep. the airdrops are going to be meaningless if there's no adoption. And yep. the airdrops will be even more meaningless if there's no way you could buy or sell them off from the exchange, right? Yeah, and then the true. other worst thing is that they gave you a token, but there's no liquidity. Yeah. You know, you go to the exchange, you've got to, you got to put up the order for five years and it's still going to be there, right? Yeah. So, so these are all the very uh, sad truth that we have to educate um, yeah. uh, uh, users, you know. So from 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 my from my end, you know, I, I'm still concurrently holding a, a couple of appointments with uh, a government uh, link uh, uh, organizations, and yeah. I work very closely with government organization. These are some of the things that I always tell. Their, their directors or their chief of, uh, of staff or, or the chief of finance, you know. These are the things that you have to look at. You know, you do not invest in a certain protocol or a certain mainnet blindly. You know, it has to be something that you think that yeah. you could use it, you know, yeah. from a governmental level yeah. or from a, from a standpoint level, you know. Then you can think about investing and putting the money in and adopting the the... The whole, um, uh, uh, the whole, whole mainnet, right? Yeah. So you have to be very mindful of this. You know, you imagine if the government, uh, all those scholars and so forth, do not understand this model, how would the community people, uh, you know, the 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 day to day retail investors understand this theory? You know, many of them just felt that oh, it's a good project because it's a good project. You know, like Yam say, they go through the 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 team. Uh, yeah. The team members, you know, oh, they felt they felt that they have uh, fifty team members. They are good, but then out of fifty team members, they could be all stock images, you know, yeah. from somewhere, right? Yeah. Or, or they could yeah. be some advisors that are on multiple projects. You know, they they they, yeah. they are people like that in the market that we know, right? Yeah. So 
we got to be very mindful. So, so we have been trying to push out a, a lot of uh, uh, initiatives, you know, from uh, from a more more non profit uh, angle. Yeah. And of course, uh, also through some of the uh, uh, companies that I uh, I am directly involved in and invested in, to some that I indirectly uh, involved in. Yeah. Yesterday, you know, we yeah. we 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 try to do as much education as possible. Yeah. But. Yeah. If the users are not going to read about the project and they only believe what their community leader is saying to them, yeah, yeah. then then there's no point, right? So yeah. so we, we created some platform uh, uh, years ago, uh, 2018. Uh, it's called blogcast.cc. Yeah. So, uh, I'm just a small Indian investor uh, in, in their company. Uh, but what, what they have done uh, for, for the longest time is that they help projects to grow and to make sure that they are credible, all right? Yeah. This is more from a media and PR aspects of things. Um, and then uh, most recently, you know, uh, they realized that there are a lot of uh, uh, bad, uh, bad, bad okay. publicity about, uh, about blockchain, about how cryptocurrency is going yeah. to, yeah. Go, go, is going to work and so forth. Yeah. So they, they started to, to uh, uh, be more active uh, on 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 their own Telegram channel by sharing out more news, mm. you know. Hopefully, people can read them. Yeah. And then from from there, they are also hoping to create a group of like-minded uh, people mm. to share the right kind of uh, philosophy and the right kind of uh, messages uh, in the yeah. market. Because yeah. you know, it, there are a lot of groups in in the in the market right now that they do a lot of uh, giveaways. You know, they do a lot of uh, airdrops and so forth. Uh, we could always do that. You know, we could spend a hundred, a thousand, you know, uh, yeah. on on a, on a monthly or weekly basis to make sure that we get in the traction. But yeah. but this is not what we want. You know, we we do not want any form of fake advertising. You know, to go out in yeah. the market. So I was talking to Nicholas. You know, yeah, it would be good if, if uh, there would be a group of people. Uh, sharing the right kind of news and messages in the market, yeah. instead of just uh, you know, instead of just liking a post or instead of just retweet a post or or, 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 yeah. or put a, a, a lot of comments uh, on the post uh, that are that are not relevant. You know, I would love to see more people grow in that aspects of things, so that okay. we can have an army of a knowledge manager. You know, yeah. Knowledge yeah. community instead of a <clears throat> instead of a, a, a an army that is just there to like and retweet, right? Yeah, so yeah. This, this is the this is the main aim of, of what uh, Blockcast is trying to do. Um, that is on a <coughs> sorry, uh, that's on a non non profit. Uh, thanks, mate. That's on a non profit uh, uh, basis, and they hope to bring in like minded people together to make sure that this agenda is going to push through. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a long road, of course, yeah. uh, because we would love to help, of course, uh, and, yep. and we will. Um, but it, uh, it's a long road because, um, uh, for example, we um, added the giveaways on our part on Bitcoin Live uh, because we saw uh, that it's really hard um, to keep people involved if you um, if you don't. We, and we almost couldn't grow until we did. So we, we're looking for the balance uh, at what like point. You. Um, is it good to do a giveaway or, or um, airdrop and what point um, uh, it isn't? So we always try to couple it uh, with a sort of educational um, uh, point. Um, uh, and sometimes we do too, too much giveaways and then sometimes we do too little. And then you see the, the followers drop or you see them go skyrocket up, but then they will drop because the money isn't there if we don't do enough giveaways. Yeah, and it's also like like you say, Andy. Yeah. It's also uh, it's also a team effort. Yeah. So uh, the more people you get involved in a like-minded community, like you say, because yeah. we we did together, and with the two of us, yeah, you need somebody to focus on the marketing, promotion, networking, and the other one has done to do the the, the content and the research. The but that's actually you have too little people. You need yeah. more people. Uh, sure. So you can yeah. split uh, the efforts better, and then sure. then then you can also deliver a better project and better information and uh, better tailored giveaways. Uh, or sure. just but the, the, 
the the content the um, the value of the content is important and I think education or um, knowledge or wisdom is the most in, important uh, value you can bring if you're a company or just a person in real life yeah. uh, the more wisdom you can uh, bring the more value something has look at Nicholas Tesla but you have to engage people to see what's possible and then to keep them with you or and expand uh, the group yeah. and we've been trying to do uh, so well you can you can do it like very simply uh, because satoshi nakamoto wherever he was he was very smart to and, and crypto daily did a really nice video on this uh, you have like the, the money part of the profit part of bitcoin which gets people engaged and holds them the, the moon boy so to speak but you also have like the idealist part of Bitcoin uh, with all the people working on the on the network and the dream of the open source, neutral, decentralized uh, uh, yeah, digital gold or maybe yeah. more. Uh, but if it was only the idealist or only the people who try to teach and uh, uh, Bitcoin, then it would have never worked. You also needed the profiteers, the people who think it would go to the moon. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, it's two uh, of the coin. Uh, so to speak. I think I, I, I think the, that that is uh, that is that is uh, to to the right context. But how 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 about this? You know, it, it should be it should be run in this manner. When Satoshi first started, they have a group of them, right? Yeah. You have to first yeah. get that group of people, yeah, right? Before you talk about giving it away, you know. Yeah. So my my take is there must be a core group of people. It could be yeah. you, Yam, it could be yeah. you, Nicholas, Eddie, whoever. We have a core group of people. From that core group of people, then we start to dedicate uh, the right kind of a work and messages out in the market yeah. and giving the right kind of, of money. Because if you, are, if you want to grow in terms of the number of followers, there are people who sell follow, followers, right? Yeah. You know, if you see some of my posts, you know, uh, people try to sell it to me. I say, come on, man. If I want, it will be in millions, you know? Yeah. There's no need to do this, this, uh, this, this whole process, right? You can just buy them, you know. But if you if you want to grow the followers, you have to grow those that are real because a lot of these airdrops yeah. that you are giving out in the market, they are going to bots, robots, yeah, yeah. and and that is going to be very useless, right? Because when you do the the whole process of giving things out, there's no KYC, you know, you you don't yeah. know who they are, man. So no, all this money, comes, I think, young gone, uh, as a well, good way. It could be. Yeah. But it could I, I be, but, understand but, what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. It's, it's, going, down, it's, it's going down the drain, right? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so, so we, we, we need a, a, a consolidated effort to make yeah. this work. Yeah. Then the second thing about, about Satoshi, you know, I, of course, I, I don't know him, you know, um, and, and, and of course, yeah. Of, <laughs> thanks, thanks, man. <laughs> but, and, and, they, and, and he's a very smart guy, you know, to yeah. look at, yeah. how the incentive and how the whole decentralized uh, 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 world is going to be like, you know, if everybody okay, live Mary. in Bitcoin, yeah? yeah? But the real the, 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 the real truth is because of Bitcoin, there are a lot of other coins that came out, yeah. right? Yeah. And this formed the whole cryptocurrency family. So it's no longer just Bitcoin. Of course, Bitcoin is the grandfather of everything. But, yeah. you know, you look at the whole, the whole ecosystem, not all coins work like Bitcoin, right? Yeah. And the, yeah. the other point is Satoshi would have never imagined that there are a lot of people who came up with the mining pool that started to profiteer that fast yeah. uh, uh, within the, 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 the blockchain uh, or within the, the, the Bitcoin ecosystem, right? I, I think he might not have thought of that, you know. And no, if so. he would have thought of that, I think he would have no. changed his model yeah. a, a lot more. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so there's no perfect scenario, you know, uh, uh, for all the coins. And and yeah. and one of the other points that I, I want to I, I want to share is that whether or not the project is centralized or decentralized, it doesn't matter at all. No. Uh, just to be just to be real honest, because most of the projects are are centralized. Yeah. yeah. Most. Yeah? yeah. Most of them are centralized because there's a figure here. Or there's a figure, uh, a CEO. There is yeah. a, a whole uh, a, a structure, you know, behind the whole uh, the, the the whole coin. So I, I think most of them are centralized. But if they could put up good uh, governance and compliance behind their 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 company, 
yeah. you know, it, it can work very well, you know, um, whether it's centralized or decentralized. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, and it also depends on the on the the the, the, the use case, of course, uh, because you do. I think the the most powerful thing about Bitcoin is, of course, that it is fully decentralized. But a lot of coins don't have to be a lot yeah. of big wheels that are holding on to That's huge. That's true. That's true. <laughs> so 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 and the that, that, of is that decentralized? Yes. So again, again, that's that go that goes back to uh, the, the the fact that whether it's decentralized or not decentralized, it doesn't matter because the thing that matter most in a project is they have the faith in you and if they believe in you. If they believe in you and had and have the faith in the in the project, you know, they would run very well. You know, whether it's decentralized or not decentralized. You know. Well, that's true. I, I, I guess it's a matter of um, of how you look at it. But I think there's a lot of faith in Bitcoin because it's decentralized, and that's why you have so many whales in it. But but that's that's another issue. Uh, Jonas, back from the telephone call. Yeah. <laughs> it's good no, no, they were just talking about about Bitcoin. So yeah. so um, I think uh, for Bitcoin, the true value behind Bitcoin is not just about decentralization. Uh, that's not the only reason thing. why. Yeah. The reason why you know people still hold on to Bitcoin is the kind of belief that they have in yeah. the coin. You know, yeah. it's it's not because it's decentralized or, or whatever. It's the kind of belief that they have in the coin. Then the second thing is because Satoshi is missing, right? If yeah. today Satoshi yeah, is going to be, part. yeah, it's going to be uh, who's that guy's name? Ever. You know, and, and whoever you know, then then they will they will lose the 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 whole mysterious thing behind it do you still believe in, in bitcoin that would be another uh, different story True. you know that 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 yeah. that is that, that we can talk about right yeah. so again it's not about centralized or, or, or decentralized uh, you know so we, we i i always wanted to start a movement about a re-decentralizing or, or re decentral there's no such word uh, i think the re-decentralize the meaning of uh, decentralization you know yeah because <laughs> If you do not redefine the word decentralization, people will start to think about, oh, I, I want to get rid of the government, you know, I want to get rid of the bank, yeah. you know, uh, you know that kind of decentralization in which right now uh, is not possible yet, you yeah. know, not possible yet, you know, and and if this thing is really going to happen, it's going to take time, you know, you got That's to slowly yeah. buy into the good books of the the government. You know, sleep with them, eat with them. You know, yep. understand. You know the right parameters to move around. Then you know you you look at, you know, uh, forming a new world out, out, yep. out, out from uh, out from the current one. You know, yeah, I think, so, uh, so again, you know, it's a it's a very long procedure. You know that yeah. that we are talking about instead of just people shouting about DeFi. You know, people shouting yep. about uh, decentralization. So the word decentralized got to be redefined. If we do not redefine the word decentralization, you know, then there's nothing, man. There's, there's really nothing. <laughs> People will always think that decentralized means this this way, you know. But actually, it's not, man. You you, you get where you get where I come from. Yeah, I think uh, now Ferguson wrote a really nice book uh, called The Tower and the Square, and and it's basically yes. also about decentralization. So the, uh, he, he used for, uh, network theory in uh, his uh, analysis of history. He also always has like a groundbreaking books, and and he argued that you both need like centralization and decentralization because if you only have decentralization in in history, you get basically energy, energy. Yeah. <laughs> which isn't yes, really that you're right. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but it's a really interesting book. I can highly recommend I it. Think also here it's about the balance balance yeah. and, and uh, it's about accountability and um, uh, people have to be uh, responsible for their own actions and less dependable on governments maybe to take uh, their own make their own decisions um, and follow some rules because if you don't have rules uh, you will have anarchy and yeah. I think nobody's uh, uh, will be the better for it so yeah you're right you're right yeah, yeah. Because um, I I think I think that that kind of thinking would be would be a lot better, you know, not lesser uh, dependency on on the government uh, or lesser dependency on just purely the bank or the financial yeah. institutions. Yeah. I think I think that is 
that is a that is a good way to to look at uh, uh, decentralization. Um, but again, you know, not everyone in this current industry is thinking like that. You know, no, no. they they are not looking at things from a logical standpoint. Uh, like I've mentioned, you know, in 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 the earlier uh, uh, words, you know, people do a lot of stake, right? Mentally, go back to the fact that we need to make sure that there is a uh, underlying value to yeah. the thing that we talk yeah. about, right? So, so that the value, the underlying value in that piece of asset, you know, whether it's a coin, or whether it's in the company, or whether it's in the, in in the team itself. Yeah, that is actually the underlying value, not so much on just looking at the coin price on coin market cap. You yeah, know, everyone. You just imagine that. if today coin market cap or even the exchanges uh, uh, in the world come out with a consolidated effort to 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 set forth some rules in terms of how listing can be done. Yeah, you know, would 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 that be a lot better? I think that would be a lot better because. Yeah. They would then eliminate all the shit coin yeah. that has hundred thousand in the pocket and trying to tell you that they have fifty million, yeah. right? Yeah. That kind of a situation, right? So, so, so these are things that that are still fairly centralized, yeah. You know, but you need that kind of centralized effort to make sure that things are consolidatively uh, 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 consolidated, and the efforts and the decision made. Uh, from a consolidated effort within the industry, you know, yeah. then then this will be something big because it's on a global level, you yeah. know, not so much of decentralized. Singapore does their own, Malaysia does their own, you know, uh, Sweden you know does their own. Yeah. Yeah. It's not so much like that, but but again, you know, this got to be a process, and I don't think it has reached to that stage yet, no. you know. But I think sooner or later, you know, people like CZ. Uh, or, or or even people like uh, Huopi, uh, Li Lin and, and Gang, yeah. they would possibly sit down together and then form a certain rule because imagine if the government, if, if any of this listing goes wrong, the government just turn their head around and look at uh, Binance, Huopi, OK, and say that, hey, you guys are at fault. Do they, do they still dare to do the things that they did before? Yeah. I guess they, are. They, they won't, right? Because they are all governed by a set of governance yeah. Uh, within the company and also within the jurisdiction of the country that they are operating yeah. in. That's true. So that would be uh, that would be the kind of effort that I would love to see uh, 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 you know people like uh, CZ or, or, or yeah. Lilin Sky yeah. uh, uh, Star you know and, and gang they could just work together to make sure that they have a, a, a consensus you know yeah. on how this whole process is going to be like but no. again it's not up to us you know yeah, well, Jan and, yeah. Jan and me are always uh, wondering and a little bit uh, yeah, sad about all the tribalism within the crypto community because there's a lot of, I mean, competition is good, of course, but uh, you have a lot of my coin is the best and your coin uh, sucks. And if they all work together. Yeah, uh, you have to have uh, some quality checks. And, and that too. Um, yeah. um, and you have to work together to make it um, but of course, the, the 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 bad coins they don't want to work together, of course, no. because they have nothing to offer. No. So, <laughs> so they Correct. do want tribalism. And, of and course, then you yeah. need regulation. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Whether they are the big coin or the or the smaller coins, I think um, they all work in tribes, you know. But yeah. you know, many times, you know, it, within a, a whole village, you know, there are multiple tribes. Yeah. Uh, they still they, they are still able to work together. That that is then considered a good village, right? Yeah. So right now we do see people trashing uh that coin, uh you know founders trashing the other coin. You know, yeah. let's not name who again, but but these are all things that are not very nice because no. No. people not will people will not see so and so as 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 just trashing out. They will think that the industry as a whole is it's just pretty. Childish yeah, and not really. Also, uh, detracts or, or um, what you call it. Um, the attention goes from um, uh, content to he or she said. So yeah. it uh, detracts from the, the the content. Also. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. So this this thing go back to the the, the thinking about re decentral re yeah. So we we have to redefine uh, a, a certain 
a, a, a meaning behind a, a, the word decentralized. Yeah. You know, how do you see the whole decentralized process is going to be like? If if we continue to work uh, in, in a very silos manner, you know, you are your coin, I'm coin, and he is not my coin, and he's my enemy. Yeah. That then, then the whole community will just be in a big mess. Yeah, you know? that's true. So they create unnecessary tensions uh, because it will affect how their community uh, are, are thinking because the, the the leader could say something very innocently saying the XXX chain is, is bad, you know, yeah. but the community will just take it and amplify it to yeah, uh, yeah, that's true. larger, that's larger uh, chaos, right? So, so we have... To re-decentralize and then at the same time, you know, you and I and, and together with the, our like-minded friends, yeah. you know, we could start to educate and create the right kind of awareness that is in the market. You know, you know, you you guys can always uh, look at uh, how the 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 giveaway is going to be done because I, I like what you have been doing because Thanks. you are giving away coins that I know what it is. You know, yeah. unlike in some other giveaway, give away very shitty coin. That <laughs> you cannot even pronounce or we try not to do that, but yes. sometimes so, we make mistakes so, also. Uh, I guess of course, of course, because because you you need you want to work with uh, uh, projects as well, right? I, I do understand, but yeah. but you look at it this way, you know. At least you guys are giving away things that are valuable to yeah. your uh, fans, right? Yeah. And then if we today, like in this video, we could try and reach out to more people to understand how the whole industry is going to be like, then then things will be things will be a lot more smoother, right? Yeah. So I, I really hope that you know that that is that is going to that is going to work really That's good. a good message. Uh, That's yeah. a good message yeah. to, to share and uh, also to our uh, followers. Um, and we yeah. would love to be part of that yeah. uh, effort yeah. also. Yeah. yeah. Let's let's do that then let's do that. You know you we could still first publish the uh, the, this is a video. I'm not sure how's the recording uh, quality because uh, <laughs> Me neither. Be honest, I, I, this is uh, not the first time I'm using Hangout, yeah. but most of the time it's actually matted by by my team, you yeah. know, to yeah. make sure the recordings are done and so forth. But of course, this time round, from your end, you will be doing the recording. We hope yeah. that the, the the recording comes out fine. If not, we could we always do, do this <laughs> on podcast. You could always change this to a podcast. But yeah. but but the main message is that uh, we should all work together yeah. to uh, look at uh, redefining the word decentralized and also uh, putting out the good uh, messages to educate uh, your your followers, my followers, yeah. and yeah. everybody's followers so that they could make a good conscious decision yeah. uh, on, on, on what they believe in. And, and again, whether or not they invest into project A or B is up to their own, uh, yeah. you know, own decision. So hopefully, through through what we do uh, uh, as a, as a whole, you know, we can get more people to understand the whole true meaning behind what a uh, what what blockchain is going to be like, yeah. and how the whole cryptocurrency is going to drive uh, our future down the road. Yeah. Well, one thing I really like about the community rebuilds was uh, they're really positive in outlook, yeah. and uh, they're not into bashing other. Yeah projects or cryptos and they're really helpful helping each other and so that's i think we built a really positive uh, community yeah, that um, was is one of yeah. my um and our uh, main uh, points in life as well because uh, as a supermarket manager i work with sometimes two three hundred people and a lot of uh, customers, of customers a few uh, thousands a day yeah. and um, a lot of uh, transportation uh, uh, people from the transport sector and I think the best community is a positive uh, community where you can uh, speak your mind and um, uh, criticize in a positive way. Constructive. So, constructive yeah. way yeah. so you can make yourself better and by making your improve yourself, then you can improve your business or uh, your community. My, my story is my yeah. community. And then the you village. can grow it. Correct. And then yeah, you can yeah. grow it. Yeah, yeah, you can better, get better yeah. and better and better. Yeah. You're right. You're right. I, I always... Uh, I always uh, give my full respect to uh, all the troopers and the followers that 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 I see uh, on on my end and also on some of the partners that we closely work with because I, I find that those guys are actually the most genuine people. Yeah. Uh, I always encourage them to speak up 
you know, just talk, you know, just don't be yeah. shy, you know, just, just yeah. say what you have to say, uh, whether or not your, your, your English is good or not, you know, that's not a problem. No. Just yeah. say what you have to say. And then from there, people will know, you know, how you feel. Yeah. And they will also know that, you know, people commenting on places like uh, Facebook or, or Twitter, yeah. they are real people, you know, be yeah. Yeah. because if you are just talking about, again, you know, so so that's why you know we have to work together yeah. and make sure that this can be captured. You know, yeah, whether it's your also, followers, my followers, that's better, man. A lot of people, uh, especially in crypto, are perhaps also a little bit shy of speaking out because uh, because it's very technical. So it's very easy if no? you don't have a technical background, you say something silly, uh, and it looks like you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, we probably do that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but in our in our our conversation, we have talked. We have not talked anything about the codes. You know the the Python, yeah. the C plus plus codes, and so forth. I, I think it's not so much about about the codes because leave those to the developer. Yes. All right. Yes, I agree. Because the developer will look at the kind of ideas that you gave you give them, yeah. and then they will so execute they the idea. Back. Correct, and, and and if you look at the Vitalik's uh, post, you know, uh, he 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 speaks in uh, in in authority, but mm -hmm. but out of which I think only thirty percent of the time he would bring up some some real uh, technology theories that that yeah. that that he shares with his community. But but to to him is because he is speaking to the developer, you yeah. know, he's speaking yeah. to the people who know the language. But yeah. most of the time, you know, when you comment about uh, crude oil, you know, what, what technicality are we talking about, right? If you comment about a certain consensus model, there's also yeah. no technicality behind it because the the main thing is if you understand the concept behind a certain consensus model, you could actually talk for a very long time because, you know, it's all about language talking, you know, it's yeah. not so much yeah. of how you would program it. So, so again, you know, sending out the right messages to your followers will be very important. Yeah. They should speak up whether or not it's about technology or not, you know, they could just, they could just do it. I, I'll give you another example. Uh, LG, yeah. which is the famous Korean electronic brand, recently came out with a press release and a, a series of articles saying that they could now use their technology, face recognition for payment, yeah. right? But come on, and if you look at China and Hong Kong, they have already got, yeah, gotten that's... that kind of technology. Uh, in, in place and then what is there to shout about you know yeah. so sometimes when I see messages like this I would I mean I'm trying to hold back you know and say that hey you know this are all done uh, uh, years years ago man yeah. Yeah. you know but but yeah. I, I, I try not to do that you know unless I have I'm really in a very bad mood and they are posting rubbish but but you know if they are just trying to share a certain message that 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 is good I think it is good for them to just share you know yeah. Well, well, there's that's, that's nothing true. wrong. Yeah. You got nothing a lot wrong of about projects that are really good at making a big thing out of nothing. They they oh, bring it out like, like, oh, it's amazing. We're just around the corner, and then yeah, when you look at what they're really saying, it's yeah, it's already been done. Or I, I oh okay, so, so just just cor correct me if if uh, if I, I send out the wrong message. But first of all, I think what the projects are trying to do in terms of uh, beautifying themselves, mm -hmm. I think is okay, you know, because they, you can see that they are putting up an effort, right? They yeah. collected yeah. investment money, you know, they, they do the yeah. right business to, to get the kind of revenue. They want to promote themselves. I think, I think it's okay. So people like LG, you know, people are, they are promoting themselves because of that. I think it's okay because they may have something more sharper, than what the Chinese have done or what the the, the, mm -hmm. the Asian have done, and and that that is okay. So 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 that is that is okay. But but things that I I, I do not like to see are things like example yeah, uh, so and so chain use um, use Amazon as the as the cloud yeah. provider. You know, and then they, they come out with a press release saying that, oh, I'm working with uh, Amazon. Yeah. I'm working with uh, Ali they, Cloud. They you know? changed the narrative. Come on, man. Yeah. Precisely. That, that is the kind of things that we should all avoid because, first of all, you are just paying a service. 
right? Yeah. You pay a service, you use Ali, Ali Cloud or yeah. use Amazon yeah. or yeah. use uh, Microsoft, you know, it doesn't mean that you have a partnership with them. No. Right? Uh, so these kind of things, they do. Yeah. 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 Right. These kind of things, I would strongly suggest uh, if there are any projects listening to what we say later on, I strongly suggest that they should get rid of things like that because it's going to hurt them very badly. Not yeah. all can we can have a lot of uh, a lot of a uh, bus, but we have to make sure that all it's these messages are, are are good and genuine. You know, yeah. not those that are very fluffy and 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 and, and that's it, right? So, yeah. so there's there's nothing to really shout about. Uh, uh, you know, I give you an example. If Amazon is using your coin yeah. directly on Amazon to make payment, <laughs> that is a big, that is a big thing. Right, yeah. but if you are talking about using M Amazon AWS, yeah. ah, come on, man! Now yeah, most of the web are, are, are on that, right? So, so we have to differentiate between uh, news that are newsworthy yeah. versus news that are just fake. Yeah. You know, fa yeah. uh, fake, you know. So, so this come back to the point that a lot of this uh, uh, work that is being done, you have to digital proof that, you know, yeah. if you can digital yeah. proof. The, uh, the 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 news or the news sources, then yeah. you know that is additional value that blockchain can bring to the to the society. Yeah, we try to to filter out uh, yeah the the, the yeah. good news from the less news or less uh, interesting news or fake news. Yeah. Of course, you also have fake news. Um, but yeah, like we, we are a two person team. Yeah. So if, yeah, if you're a part of a community, a bigger com community of like-minded people who can, um, can reinforce each other, yeah. that, that would yeah, be we, very we helpful, should. of course. We should, I, I would uh, introduce you to, to, to the people that I, I partnered with and also yeah, yeah. to my own. Um, I think all of them can add, add a certain value to our conversations uh, yeah. today. And uh, again, you know, we want to create a better uh, crypto community yep, yeah. and also yeah. uh, pushing out uh, good projects uh, yeah. that will make a lot of difference in the market. Guys, I, I got I got the yeah, goal. Yeah, 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 of so course. Yeah. I, have another, I have another phone call in about uh, two minutes. We okay. understand. So, we thank you for your time also. No, 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 please. I, it's my pleasure uh, meeting the both of you. And... Um, like I told uh, Nicholas, you know, we, we can do a segment uh, uh, every every week, you know, yeah, with, right. uh, you know, with, with uh, maybe some other guests or we with other topics as well. You yeah. know, today, yeah. I think we have covered a lot of uh, uh, right, different right. things, but, but we didn't go in depth, you know. Um, yeah. So we would love to do something more in depth and uh, talk about a certain topic. You know, right, right, right to the details. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, so let's let's do that again. And I, I and I, um, I hope you can hear me. My, you know, my yeah. internet is not in the best shape. So okay. let's let's catch up again next week. All right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Andy. Uh, yeah. You're, uh, thanks, my friend. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. Thanks very much. See you. See you. I gotta go. Bye. Okay. Take bye -bye. care. Bye. Bye. It's very nice. Kan hij dat opnemen? Hij ging steeds uit om de vijf minuten. Wat vaag is dat? Het is een rare... Nou ja, goed, het is onze eerste keer. Ik vond het... Als het... Nou, ze staan in ieder geval allemaal op. <laughs> okay, dus we, we kunnen ze in ieder geval... Weet je wat we dan kunnen doen? Is dat je net zoals wat Pompliano doet. Dus weet je, op vijf minuten gaat hij hierover, vijf minuten gaat daarover. Ja. Weet je, als kleine stukken. Oh, is het serieus? Dat is zo lang. Jezus. Ja, dat is goed. Dat is goed.